Hey everybody, welcome back and I hope you're having a great week. This is Musical Theatre Time with Ali and I just wanted to say before I start off with this video, thank you so much for all the love and support that I got on my previous video. It was my first YouTube video ever and thank you so much for receiving it really well. And I also wanted to say that I'm so happy that there are so many people who are interested in musical theatre and want to know more. So thank you, thank you so much. Recently on my Instagram, I had made a poll and I had asked my followers what exactly they would want to see in this video. I did give them four options. One was what is musical theatre? The second one was what did I do in my training? The third one was balancing academics and musical theatre. And the fourth one was recommendations of musicals. I also did put in a question box and I did receive some questions. So thank you so much. I will be touching upon those topics. The one that got the most number of votes is now the title of the video, as you can see. So I'll be talking about that and then I'll be going in order for the next couple of videos. So thank you so much again for voting and taking the time to write those questions out. So let's begin with how exactly do you balance academics and musical theatre at the same time? So let's begin. I did my education at Sophia High School until grade 12, which means I was under the IUC board and the ICSE board. And for my music part of it, I explained I was in my first vocal training class at 11 years old and I was interested in learning piano. Now, as I grew older and because I knew I wanted to do musical theatre, I added on more classes such as acting class, dance class. I was even a part of the Bangalore chorus at the time. So in these classes, usually students appear for what is known as graded examinations. Now these graded examinations can be for any type of performing arts. It can be for an instrument, it can be for voice, it can be for dance, it can be for drama, anything. These exams are held by the United Kingdom boards such as ABRSM, Trinity, LCM, and they offer students the chance to appear for these exams and receive a certificate in whatever grade they desire. Now these grades range from one being the lowest to grade eight being the highest. And after grade eight, you do have diplomas for students who are interested in receiving a higher certification. Now bear in mind, these certificates are internationally recognized all over the world. So it helps institutions know what level of musicality you are at, which is why students take these examinations. Now you're probably wondering, how is this a problem in India? Unfortunately, in India, many schools and many curriculums do not offer performing arts as subjects in the main school curriculum, which means if you can guess this one, which means students have to go after school to attend these classes, which means going traveling in traffic, which takes a long time attending classes and coming back which as you can guess eats up into the eats up into the time of when they should be or can be studying and doing their homework this is something a lot of kids find difficult to balance and unfortunately when they reach the 9th or 10th grade even when they reach 12th grade which is essentially high school many many students drop the performing arts subjects to focus more on their studies due to board exams which are all India conducted examinations to obtain a score which determines where they get into for 11th and 12th and for 12th graders which helps them give institutions an idea for a score for their undergraduate courses. So it is really tricky. If you think about it, there's so many things that a kid wants to do and a teenager wants to explore. But it's just because of this structure and system in place that it becomes really difficult uh, as they grow older. So this is some tips and some advice and the things that I did. Knowing what you want to do is absolute power. This is crucial when it comes to balancing academics and for me personally, musical theatre. I knew that I didn't want to give up musical theatre for anything. So it actually gave me the initiative to find that extra time to either practice or do my homework and study. 
this becomes really crucial and it could be that you want to not give it up even as a hobby because you love doing it or you're really good at it as well so this knowing what you want to do really really helps you secondly the correlation between music and health and helping you study there are many many studies showing that music actually does help you study a lot better music not only helps your brain process information faster but it also helps your memory and reduces stress and anxiety i'm going to link a, a study and a page about harvard health where they speak entirely about music and health and i'm also going to link a tedx video which explains the benefits of playing an instrument uh what it can do for your brain so if you want to learn a little bit more about that go ahead and check out the links in my description box below thirdly knowing that studying does not and practice does not actually take up a lot of your time if you do it in a focused and concentrated way without having any distractions whatsoever it is going to help you out a whole lot so think about these two scenarios if you study for 45 minutes in a very focused manner take a 15 minute break and then practice you know your singing for example for 45 minutes you would have done so much more productivity in that time as opposed to maybe sitting with your books open for 2 hours checking your phone occasionally reading a few lines from your textbook and then 2 hours passes you by knowing that studying can actually be in a concentrated activity so this can really this really helped me a lot making sure i organized my time and either getting up a little bit earlier to study or staying up a little bit later in the night just to help accommodate those percentages depending on what's coming around if you have for example school examinations coming around maybe you might want to study a little bit more but that doesn't mean you give up practice and vice versa if you have a graded exam coming up you want to practice a little bit more on your area of performing arts that doesn't mean giving it up altogether the fourth point that i want to make is that i think this is for all the 9th 10th 11th and 12th graders out there not giving up as much as possible not giving up your music lessons if board exams are coming around i was in 12th grade and i still did every one of my classes even during my board exams and let me tell you from personal experience it really helped my studies i can tell you that every time i went for class and i came back my mind was better refreshed it was much more relaxed and i was honestly able to learn a lot more than when i started before i went for class this is true even to this day and this is what i tell a lot of people that please still do go for your classes they are once a week they are for an hour you can study all the time and any other time before that one hour class because honestly going for that one hour of class is going to help you a lot more and honestly not going for that class is going to make you maybe sad and not going to help you maybe take a break as well from studying taking that break off and like doing something you enjoy is actually going to help you so much more than you even realize and this is especially for anyone who's in high school please do not give it up i urge you because it is honestly going to help you and you can check out the link in my description box for if you want any more information on that my fifth point is about my parents and their support for me my clarity in my dream and my vision in my dream gave them the strength to support me they saw how committed i was and no matter what i want to do musical theater and i want to do it as a career in a sense and that gave them the strength to support me be sure of what you want and don't be afraid because there are going to be so many people and there are so many people who told me i couldn't do it who told me there was no way possible but here i am sitting here in london talking to you guys if i can do it you definitely can do it so please know that there are going to maybe be a lot of people telling you you can't but please don't give up because believe in yourself you can balance this and you can do well at academics as well as doing well in your performing arts of your choosing 
and if for any reason you unfortunately have to drop these classes for many number of factors which i can't explain know that you can still participate in cultural programs and i encourage you to also participate in inter school competitions because that really helps you keep you on top of your game even if you aren't attending your lessons outside of school just go in and just participate in these events as much as you possibly can because i know a lot of schools do offer extra curricular activities which is activities outside of class so i urge you and beg you to do the same this is something of a topic which is really important to a lot of kids out there so i hope this helped you in some way please let me know if you like the video or if you have any thoughts feel free to message me on my instagram which i also will put in my the description box down below and ask me any questions so until next time keep dreaming and follow your passion bye